What's up guys, it's Patrick with Purple Park Studios. Uh, I know it's been a while since we've done a real tutorial of any sorts, um, but today I want to do one on uh, recording MIDI into FL Studio. Um, it's a super efficient way to work and it's really easy to do, so let's jump right in. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is set your uh, tempo or your BPM up here. I have mine at 128. And then um, hover over the record button here and right click it. And you're going to want to make sure that you have notes checked. And that's going to allow you to record MIDI. If you go to this right here, you can go into the, uh, the key roll here. So you can see when I hit a chord, the keys are being highlighted in orange, which, uh, which notes I'm hitting. So you can turn your click on and go ahead and hit the record button here and make sure you're on pattern because that will record right into a pattern. If you click this up here and go over here you'll see there's pattern one. To add a second pattern you can just click this little plus icon here um, but it only lets you add another pattern after you've already recorded or programmed something into the pattern that currently exists. Alright so now that we're ready to record we can go to our piano roll here and just click play. You can see that it's recorded the MIDI right there for me. Um, and the great thing about this is that you know this allows you to really go in and you can nudge notes that may be slightly off you know, time. You can just zoom in on those notes there. And with this little uh, pencil tool, you can just sometimes you have to zoom in a little bit farther there. With the little pencil tool, you can just move the notes over and get everything perfectly lined up. Um, another great thing about this is, you, you know, uh, well, the first one thing you might want to do is grab this little selection tool here and just select everything and then move it all to the beginning of your pattern so that way it's starting right at the beginning there so here is what we end up having being recorded so the cool thing is you know if I wanted to change the entire key of the song now I can without having to re-record it I can just grab my notes and move them up and I have so it's just a really efficient way to work and you know obviously you can go in and you can uh, grab individual notes here and pull them out longer or shorter um, whatever you want to do I'm going to undo that for now So yeah, guys, it's that simple. Uh, I appreciate everyone, you know, checking out the tutorial. And uh, for the people that have been following me, you know, I do a lot of stuff with animation and animation tutorials and Blender. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't done a new one lately. Uh, I've been pretty busy working on a lot of uh, music projects and some things that have come up. But uh, I definitely am going to be doing more 3D tutorials in the future. All right. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.